Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric D. Crommon, real estate investor, pilot, reservist. This last weekend, I ran the Marine Corps Marathon. My legs are still sore right now, but I had some thoughts that are very important that I wanted to share with you. You may wonder, what does real estate investing have to do with running marathons or really You may wonder, what does running a marathon have to do with real estate investing at all? And it was a great challenge for me that I think has some key lessons that I really want to share. No matter what you do, if it's real estate, lawyer, doctor, anything, whatever it is that you do, no matter what profession you have, whether it's something that is self-directed like real estate or whether it's something where you go to an office and work with a team, it's important to continue to challenge yourself. So the first lesson that I learned from running the Marine Corps Marathon was it added a new perspective to the importance of having great high quality friends. In the military reserves, we have to do continuing education classes and I was blessed to have a great cohort in my command and staff class. And a group of us decided to stay in touch and continue training together to run the Marine Corps Marathon. So anytime that you have high quality people in your life, it's really important to work to, to keep those people in your life because they're gonna continue motivating you to do better, to work harder, and to achieve new heights that you didn't think were possible before. So one of the things by staying in touch with some of my good friends from my command and staff cohort, I was able to thrive off their motivation as we worked together to finish the 26.2 miles and train to finish the 26.2 miles, but also just having the good conversation of being connected with other people that are doing great things in their everyday life kept me motivated to keep pushing in my normal life too, outside of training for the marathon. Another thing that training for the marathon really helped with was keeping a long goal, keeping the focus over the horizon. So often, whether it's with flying or with real estate, I'm always so focused on the next problem. What's the alligator closest to the boat? What do I have on the flight schedule tomorrow? What is What maintenance are we dealing with right now? How am I gonna finish up this refinance that I'm on right now? But training for a marathon gave me something that was when we first started training at least you know seven months out that every day when I woke up, I wasn't just worried about today's run plan. I wasn't just worried about you know, tomorrow's run plan. I was thinking about that marathon seven months in the future and then six months, five months, four months as it got closer and closer. I had that long goal that was why I was doing what I was doing every day. And that helps reorganize some of your perspective in your regular life too. So you know, why am I waking up to go on this flight schedule tomorrow? Why am I doing maintenance on these houses right now? Why am I refinancing these houses right now? Because I had that long goal with the running training, so why don't I have the long goal with my everyday work that I'm committed to? So having the, having the run to prepare for helped me mentally refocus and recage on some of the things in my everyday life and put a longer perspective on those things. Lastly, the third reason why running the marathon was important is just a showing a commitment to your core values. One of my core values is I love traveling. That's why I'm an airline pilot. That's why I stay in the Marine Corps Reserves. I love the freedom of going new places, meeting new people, seeing new things, and committing to a marathon in 
the most American city, either DC or Philadelphia, but I'd say DC is probably still like the most American city, um, was a commitment to travel, uh, to get out and see some friends that I hadn't seen in a long time, reconnect with great people, not just that were running the marathon with me, but other friends from the Marine Corps and getting to spend some time in America City. So if you have a goal that you've been wanting to work towards, even if it's not necessarily related to your job or your family, but it's something that's kind of ancillary, I hope this video helps you kind of refocus because anytime that you're committing to doing something hard, but that's fun and rewarding to you, it's gonna pay dividends in all the other aspects of your life as well. So just because something doesn't necessarily seem like it's an important goal, as you focus on something in the future, connect with great people, work hard to accomplish that goal, and reconnect with your core values, I'd say it probably is something that's pretty important for you to do.